everybody. It's Ron with the Arkansas CW, and I'm here with Daniel Wildcat. Mr. Wildcat, how are you today? Good, good. Doing real well. Thank you. That's great to hear. So you're going to be a part of the Native American Cultural Celebration. What's it like having this kind of event celebrating Indigenous culture in Northwest Arkansas? Yeah, well, it's it's really uh, exciting. It, it feels like something that's long overdue. Um, most of my work has really been about trying to communicate to um, the general public of the United States of America that, you know, first of all, uh, American Indians, the indigenous peoples of these lands are still here. We didn't vanish. Um, and we have cultural traditions, intellectual traditions that are really rich with wisdom. And uh, I'm really excited that the Museum of Native American History has, desi has decided to take this very current idea of indigenuity, indigenous ingenuity, to um, really talk about the wisdom, the knowledge that the first peoples of this land still carry, and that too few people in the public recognize. So with that being said, can you tell me how indigenuity is being incorporated with this year's event? Well, I think there's a whole lot that's going on right now in museum studies in general, and people who are engaged in, in uh, curating museum collections. And I think one of the things that Mona is leading the way on, the Museum of Native American History in Bentonville, Arkansas, is this idea of trying to disabuse people of the mistaken notion that the only place where they can go see Indians and learn about things about Indians is in a museum. I think the beautiful thing about indigenuity and the program that's being organized for this fall at the Museum of Native American um, History is that it's talking to contemporary architects, contemporary Native scientists. Uh, uh, we're, I'm going to interview this wonderful author, um, Robin Kimmerer about her, her very uh, important book, Braiding Sweetgrass. And uh, I'm also gonna have an interview with the uh, uh, first American Indian uh, astronaut, John Harrington of the Chickasaw Nation. So it's just really going to be that thing of letting people know that, hey, indigenous people are still here. We have a rich knowledge and culture and it's living. It's not, it's not dead, it's still very much alive. All right, so I have to ask, what are you most excited about at this event? What's grabbing your attention the most? Yeah, I, I'd have to say really, the thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that we have been able to get artists, young people, school children, uh, got a great, contests going on for school children and young people to kind of give examples of indigenuity and how they're thinking about solving problems in the world today. Uh, teachers, educators, architects, engineers, uh, people in the field of medicine, and a NASA astronaut. I am excited that we've been able to bring all of these people together around this same theme of indigenuity, the application of traditional wisdom, indigenous wisdom, to solve very contemporary modern problems. Man, that sounds so exciting. I hope the celebration gets to more eyes and ears this year. Yeah, let's get it out there because here's, here's, here's the good news, okay? There's good news and bad news, right? Um, well, uh, you know, the good news is we're having the event, it's virtual, which means we, are, we can reach anyone in the world who can get on the internet and access the Mona Fall Festival, the Museum of Native American History Fall Festival. We've got, this is an incredible opportunity to reach people all over the planet. That's the good news. The bad news is we had really hoped we'd be doing this face-to-face. I think this is gonna be kind of the prelude to uh, some more activities. I know talking to Charlotte Buchanan at the, at the museum, she plans to really build on this idea in a future museum activity. So 
I think it's just the first start of something that could be become much bigger in the future. So I'm I'm excited about that, and I want people to know this is all going to be virtual, and you can see all of the incredible events that are going to start on Thursday the seventh and end on Saturday, Thursday October seventh, and end Saturday October 9th. The last thing of the day will be a lecture I'm going to do about indigeneity. And what I really see is it's hope for the future. Daniel, thank you so much for your time. You bet. Well, thank you so much for having me.